Welcome back. In this video, we are going to implement the genres of the project. So if you look at the final one, this is what we call the genres, right? So we can filter our movies based on these genres here. Cool. But before we implement any logic in a React application, it depends on how the API works, right? So if you look at the console, let's check the console and let me show you that when we fetch the movies we have so let's try and then fetch some movies so let's console log the movies so here let me show you one more time console.log movies all right so check it out and let's see what we have let's refresh the application oh no not this one this one all right we see so let's look at what we're getting back Cool. You can see that we have a field called the general ID, the genres, right? So it means that we can also filter these particular movies based on the genres we have. Right? But look at the structure, it's an array of IDs. So we can make a request to a certain endpoint, and then you are going to find the movie by the generous ID it has. That's all what we are going to do. Cool. So let's head over to our code and then implement that all right so where are we here so because the generous one we can be placed on both the movies and tv series we're going to create as a component so here let's create one folder called the generous here and then the file called generous.js and let's go forward our component like that and let's provide h1 say the generous okay there we go so now let's render this one inside the movies component so let's require here the generous here okay there we go oh, the auto import didn't work this time around let's try again it works so now let's render it here above here so comment here and say the generous here and then let's return the component here save it and let's see what we have there we go now we have it here as that okay now so let's implement the real logic cool so for the generous we're going to use a component for material ui called chip right so let's search for chip and you can see how it works cool you can see that this is how the chips works in material UI. Cool. So we, this is what we're going to implement. We have outline one and then the something like this. All right. So let's go ahead and then implement this logic. Cool. Okay. So inside the generals here, let's require the component for material UI. So import from at material UI, not lab but core and then let's provide the chip component all right so inside that let's wrap everything in a div we're going to have some styling here so the div is here div is here and then let's provide the chip component so if you let's try how it looks i think we have one here you can see that yeah so you want to also add some styling to it and have some padding and some margin as well so let's provide pardon top and bottom provide 10 pixels and then 10 pixels and left and right to be zero check it out all right you can see that a little bit has some space so now for this it also takes some props right so if you provide a label to that so let's provide a label and let's say the label let me say is movies and let's see what we have there we go we have it right so now let's provide some color so all these are the props let's have some space here and then let's provide a color for now let's call the secondary color let's see what we have there we okay no it didn't work the color didn't work for that uh, i think the secondary color oh not class color 
it's like this oh it's gone secondary color okay we have it over here movies okay so now let's continue and style it right let's provide inline styling as well say so style is equal to like that and let's increase the font size let's provide 1.2 em and then for margin margin on both sides let's provide say two pixels or three pixels how you want it okay it's cool okay now let's implement the rare logic here if you provide an array of value labels here is going to return all the values right so let's also go ahead so how can we get it we need to make a really call it a call to the back end to fetch all the generals so if you look at let me show you what we did for sorry here the apis if you come to the api utils and the api we have an endpoint that we can hit called the generals here you can see this one fetch all movies so if you doubt let's open our postman and try this one out and see the response we're getting back so let me put my postman here all right okay it's opening here a minute okay it's here let me put it here and show you how we're going to use it to fetch all the generals and look at the data we're getting back from it right so let's open it like that and then let's go to workspace i think it's loading so let's wait okay cool so now let's go ahead here inside the generals here we are going to make a call to fetch the generals so here let's have some space here and let's create a function const fetch generals like that and we are going to make use of axios so let's bring the axios here import it and then let's bring it here let's mark my function as an async to be able to use its await so here await equal to axial that get and then let's provide the path so let's check it out again inside my so i have the iMovies here and you know this one is it this movie app okay i think this one yeah so it's let's search for the the response coming back from the generals here so as you can see we have this one name id name so you want to replace we want to render these names here inside that so that's what we're doing so let's copy this and then let's come here inside the the core let's paste it here like that but let's try to secure our api key right so let me show you how i can do it in react so to be able to use dot env in react all what you need is that let's close at the root of your project create one file called .env all right and here we can secure our keys here so that we cannot push to github so here let's provide before you can use any um, environment variables in react all what you need is bring react and then react app and then the name of your key so let me call this one movie key all right and then for the key where is my key my key is let's go to um, utils and apis and i have my keys here so don't push this file to github all right so so that you cannot you will not be able to expose your api key so dot env and then let's provide equal to without any quotation marks so with this inside the um where is it inside the generalized component instead of providing this one let's reference that so let's move the keys here and this time around let's inject the key as react sorry process.env sorry process.env dot react app movie key okay cool so with this before anytime you use some dot env file you need to restart your server again so let's try that okay so while it is loading let's manage so as soon as we get the response as you can see here we want to save this one inside our local storage sorry inside our component so here let's bring in use state 
So use state and use effect, we need the two of them. So here, let's say use state here. But the problem is that we want to, as soon as this one changes, as soon as we click, let's check, let me show you what I mean. Um, I think it's here, like this, like this, okay. So as soon as I click on this one, I want to make a call on the movies component. So the data is the data re reside in the movie component. So what I can do is I have to go to the movie component and keep track of the general. So here, let's go to pages, movies and movies component here. Cool. So here, let's add some states. State inside the movies component, right? So here, let's provide, let's say, generals here, right? So above here, use states. Use states. And say the generals like that and then let's set cool and then for now it's an empty array so let's send these two to the generous component right so here let's provide that so this one is equal to generous and then set that all right so here inside the generous component we can destructure that like that and say the genres and then set okay cool so as soon as we get back the data we want to update our state right we want to update our state here so here set generals here and then the response coming back so let's save the response coming back from this inside data is equal to await so here let's so we get the data here we have a response called dot this generous like that cool now we have updating our state cool so we can get that one from the response from the movies here so let's try it out um let's try to console log the generous here inside the movies component because you are passing this time around is this not that so let's remove this okay so now let's call this function by using use effect so use effect and then let's provide a second array as a params and then fetch generous here cool all right so let's try it out let's go go to the console and i think we can get a data back there you see we have it inside that we call it so now we can now display it inside the generous component right so as soon as we get it back we want to pass it as a value to that so here we have the generous here and now we have a name property dot name right so here instead of hard coding our label as movie this time around is going to be the generous and let me use um chaining is called dot name let's see what we have finally okay let's bring this one back refresh it okay i'm not sure we are getting it here so what we need to do is this all right so here let's where's my chip my movies component here okay we need to pass that one so we have it here at sorry where's my chip oh sorry movies yeah here okay so we have that but i'm not sure why we are not getting the name here because this is what this is array so there's no way all right so let's go to movies i'm not sure we are passing the generals here we got it so why is it that we are not getting the value here as name so let's console log the generals here inside this component and let's see what we also have it dot log and then like that let's try it out and let's see one is from generals component yeah we have it and we have dot name okay because they are an array right so we need to look through I got it. Sorry, you need to loop through and return the individuals here. So here, let's loop through all the generals here.
to first of all let's check that is optional chaining dot map and this map have the individual generals here right and then i can quickly return the general component like that cool and then i need to pass here as the general dot name and let's see what we have there we go did you see that now we have it being what we need to look through it okay so now let's provide one prop call on delete or clickable right so it provide a prop to say clickable let me let's see what we have and as you can see now we can click on but it's doing nothing so as soon as i click on this one i want to send the filtering to this api called movie to filter all the values that has this that has this um, generous in them.